Good afternoon, YouTube. I've um, decided to do the journal properly, for want of a better word. So I've chosen that that I printed on the gel plate as the cover. I think it'll look really effective when I was, I mean, it's nowhere near finished. I've got lots of trimmings and bits and bobs to do. You know me, I'll free motion around that and it'll look marvellous. So I've managed to get together two signatures, quite big ones actually. I think they're 22 single pages, so that'll be 44 in each one. And it's a mixture of the uh, gel print ones and some that I did. Sorry, it's very bright today. Sorry, it's going to be sort of dark and light and dark and light. Um, oh, there's the um. So, oh gosh, yeah, and some coffee dyed and tea dyed and yeah, so there's, there's loads in there and I've managed to get two, you know, nice little, little workers and um, signature covers. So that'll be the two signatures and that'll be the cover. Ta -da! So I'm just working on making some ephemera, which... I do do a little bit in my journals. Sorry, I'm just dumped that over there. I do do a little bit, but I normally just leave it as a couple of pockets and, and maybe a couple of tags or something. I don't go mad. But um, I think I said in my last video, this one, I want to do a lot more uh, of the trimmy bits and all the rest of it. So, excuse this, it needs sewing. But um, I've made one of these, um, I don't know what they're called, envelope thingies and that's the one that I gel printed when we were doing it last time I've got these on because I'm going to sew this piece of fabric on here but I'm going to leave all the sewing and do it on mass I've got a um sunflower stamp which I just remembered that I had actually so I've left that gel printed inside I, I think that's something you could just stick lined paper on if you wanted to and then on the back I had these made up and I can't remember where I got Somebody does a template. I don't know whether it's RT Mays, but anyway, you can literally print these out and then you print out the tags. I've stuck them on, I've, I've printed it on paper and stuck it on card. Uh, so you end up with the little thingy, whatever it's called. I've put some uh, lined paper on. It was a little bit garish, this one, so I did cover up quite a bit of the um, gel printing. So but it's one that I stenciled the sunflower onto and I've just stuck on some you know, sticker things. So yeah, so that'll look quite nice. Once it's all sewn round, I'll go right round it and stitch it all down and that'll be nice. So that's one piece. I've got a little bucket thing going on here. I found in my stash some little envelopes, little mini envelopes. So they'll just go in one of the pockets. They're blue, but you know, they've got a nice, sort of sunflowerish type for pulling on the front there so I think Sam the Scottish crafter sent me this we, I, I think I've told you before we did a, an exchange of parcels up to a, a kilo and um, I sent her a bunch of stuff and she sent me a bunch of stuff and I'm, I'm pretty sure she sent me these as well they're just little cards I think they're I think these were pre pre-printed she must have gotten from somewhere. I don't know where. Sorry. And then uh, in this, I'm going to put in the tags, the ones that I gel printed. I've put the same fabric on the top that is on the journal cover. Uh, just frayed it. So that will be one tag. Two tags. They're a bit on the back, but that's OK. That's that one. And that one. I like that one. Uh, I'm not going to do anything on the back. I, I, you know, I want the, whoever, if anyone buys it, I, I want them to have the, the, um, you know, the freedom to do what they like. This, the, uh, these are the ones that I printed separately that I said I was going to use as a topper. But what I've decided to do is put them one in each signature as fabric flips. So that'll be those two. So I'll just put that, like I say, I'm making a little bucket here with bits and pieces in and uh you know sewing and stuff oh that's just fallen over never mind 
The other thing that I found while searching in my stash uh, many years ago, I think I've told you before, I used to have a craft shop and uh, when I closed it, when the recession hit in 2009, I had tons and tons of peel-offs left. Now, I don't usually use peel-offs, but I just happened to find in my flowers some peel-offs. Why, it's very bright today. Uh, I'll put it in front of my face. There we are. That's better. Some peel off sunflowers, which I couldn't believe. And I did the old trick of using the alcohol markers, the um, Spectrum Noirs, to colour the. If I cover that, that'll do that. To colour the peel off because they were gold. So I coloured them in before I took them off the sheet. Let me show you the sheet. That's the sheet. You can see I use the pens to colour it all up. And then I've stuck it on paper, uh, old paper, and I've just sort of inked around. And I think that's really nice. So uh, there's the rest of them. I'm really pleased with that, actually. I didn't think it was going to work, but um, it has worked really well. So I'm going to tear those out and they will go on my snippets, which is what I am. I bought you along to, to do with. Anyway. That doesn't sound like a very good sentence, but there you go. So um, I was watching, who was I watching? Um, Rachel, what's her? Oh, brain, come on. Roxy Creations, yes, that's it. And um, she was doing, a snip, was it, they call them snippets? I can't remember what they call them now. Ah, anyway, those things, bits and bobs. Uh, and showing a new way of doing it, which she had seen. I think she said she saw it, first of all, on uh, the Mushroom Market, who I love, actually. I do love watching her. She has some really good um, uh, original ideas. So she's a really good one to watch if you're into this junk journal lark. She, I think she said she first saw it there and it was basically and then I watched um, Gail Agostinelli, Agostinelli and she'd done exactly the same thing um, making the snippets on mass which I thought was a brilliant idea because I love making snippets but I find them incredibly fiddly because you have to keep stop every time you make one you stop it and stitch it and all the rest of it so um, I'm going to do exactly the same thing I'm just going to I'm going to angle you down now because you can stop watching me waving my hands around like an idiot. Right, let me just angle you down here. So the gist of it is, is you start off with a piece of card. I'm going to start off with card. I think they were using coffee dyed paper or card. It might have been card. But I've got this lovely sunflower yellow. I thought, perfect. And, you know, you cover it, obviously. So it is just a case of... Uh, ripping bits of paper and sticking them on. Sorry, I'm just reaching in front of you there. I've got some bits of bobs here, which I've already started. Well, I haven't started this, but I thought I would turn you guys on and you can watch me bumbling along in my usual way. So, I had some lovely comments on my Tales of Um video. Honestly, it's not until, you, well, me, until I play back a video that I realise just how many times I said the word um. <laughs> and I, I, when I replied to um, one of my subscribers' comment on there, I said, I think it's because I didn't have it clear in my head what I wanted to say or do or whatever, you know. But And I think that's why I was stumbling along. And there'll probably be a lot of ums in this one as well, because I'm not quite sure. I've only watched, I'll say, two people doing it. And I thought that's just such a really good idea. And I need to I need to make some snippets anyway, because I'm going to start making uh, pockets. And um, so there they are, ums, uh, pockets and pages and page embellishments and stuff. I need to make some snippets because I haven't got any it's not I used to have loads of it but I must be I make a load and then I stick it on Etsy and just sell it so there it is no time to change that hey so I've no idea quite how big and what I'm gonna do in this journal this is 
I'm comfortable doing it, don't get me wrong, I've got no problem doing it. But uh, quite how it's going to end up, it's not clear in my mind yet. But then, you know, these things just naturally come along. So if you haven't watched the other ladies doing this, basically, because um, when we when we do snippets normally, we do, you know, we would do that. We would get a piece of paper and stick it on there and then get a bit of fabric and maybe put that on and then go away and stitch it. But this is, you know, is making it, well, like I say, en masse, all together in one lump. OK, so you just fill out a page. I'm going to carry on. I might as well bore you with this. So you fill out the page, make up your snippets, and that's that really. I can't think if there's anything else that I've made that um, I tea dyed, well, sprayed a load of papers and things to tear up and use in this journal. I've also got, I found a, a yellow file folder, so that'll be perfect. I'll be cutting pockets out of that. And I found that, which I thought was a lovely um, sort of, well, what colour is it? It's like a rusty colour. But again, it's sunflower colours, so that's fine. And then, oh, little tree in there. I found this gingham paper, which I thought, again, was perfect for a sunflower journal. I'm struggling with words again. This could be a funny one. All right. So, yeah, let's just do this. I've just ventured out on my bike. I had some posts to drop off and I needed some milk. So um, I thought I would do two, uh, you know, do the two together and then it saves me having to go out probably for the rest of the week, actually. That should be enough for me for the rest of the week. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something with you. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to. When I, when I went out to get the milk, we've got a little co-op locally. And if you're in the UK, you know the co-op. Lovely company. Love their ethics. You know, they they really are an eco-friendly company. And they're always the first to do things. And I admire them for that. So if I, if I can, I like to shop in my little local one. Especially if it's just basics like milk. So I posted my post got to the co-op lovely no problem at all and uh, standard queuing outside again not a problem totally used to doing that now aren't we so stood there yep yeah, that lovely so it was my turn to go in went in and I was very conscious of the fact that there was loads of people outside so queuing up as I had done so I thought I need milk I needed mushrooms I wanted to get some yogurts. What else did I get? I think that was it actually. I didn't get I didn't need an awful lot. So I I in my head when I went in I thought right well, I'm gonna make this as quick as possible because these poor souls are outside uh queuing, you know, like I had, but I thought don't need a lot, let's make this short and sweet. So uh went in the shop, no problem. Well a lady came out, I went in because they're doing one out, one in again fine got my milk got my yogurts and oh eggs i've got some eggs as well and it, you sort of go in and you walk past all the fruit veg got my milk got my yogurts and then you can go down the next aisle and there was the eggs and stuff like that so by the time i got to that second aisle i was finished and that end is right by the tills, well, opposite, you know. So I thought, well, I'm not, I don't need to go right all the way round. And there was a member of staff filling up the fridges at the other end. So I thought, right, I'll just scoot across to the tills. Uh, I got told off. And I don't know whether she was having a bit of a job's worth day, but anyway. So I got to the till with my basket. Bearing in mind, I was the only person in the shop, because, well, apart from staff. Uh, because, as I say, they were doing this one in, one out. So I got to the till, put my basket down, and um, the staff member said to me, you're supposed to walk all the way round. 
Uh, so, oh, yeah, okay. I see. I, I, I just, you know, I've got what I need, and I just thought I'd. No, we've got we've got arrows on the floor. You're supposed to walk all the way round. And I looked at her because I thought, is she just having a bit of a laugh? You know, is she sort of taking the Mickey type thing? But she was dead serious, and I, I just, didn't, I honestly didn't know what to say. I just looked at her and I just, yeah, I, I got home and I, I'm still gobsmacked. I'll be honest with you because I, I don't know what the point in saying that was. There, I, there I was cutting the, you know, cutting the waiting time for the people outside, and she was giving me, oh, I don't know, maybe it's just me. This is why I don't go out very often. <laughs> I think the world's gone mad just lately. I mean, I don't know, maybe, oh, you know, you tell me if you think you can understand why she said that. I, I'm i I'm very, very, as you can probably tell from my tone, I'm very bamboozled as to why she, and I honestly thought she was going to say, go away from the till, walk all the way around the store, up and down the aisles, and then come back to the till. Because she said something about, well, there's other people queuing and I I sort of looked around the corner at the last aisle where I was supposed to have come down and there wasn't anybody there. So I'm very confused. If anybody understands why why this this lady did and said what she I yeah, I, I well as you can tell I'm just a little bit a little bit confused. So I think it's best that I, I think it's safest for me that I stay indoors really, isn't it? Let's just not go out ever again anymore. I, yeah, I don't get it. Anyway, that's today's little nugget of fascinating information. I bet you're glad I told you that now, aren't you? Right. Just carrying on placing stuff. So, yeah, let me just... So the idea is that is you just you make your snippets on mass and then you stick all your fabrics down and any little trimmy bits that you want to do and then you take the whole sheet to your sewing machine stitch it and then once you've done all that you then just tear them apart off your off your master board if you like so you just tear yeah, yeah you just tear there and I just I really thought that was Flipping genius, I'll be honest with you, because, as I say, for me, I think that's what puts me off highly decorating my journals. Is just, I'm not a faffer. I don't, I don't, I don't like faffing. I just like to get it done and uh, and, and that's it really, and then get on with the next one. So, um, right, well, as this is just really not fascinating at all. That's the idea, as I say, and then you can put on your fabrics and your lacy trimmy bits to, you know, your heart's content. Once you're finished, you can put a quote on or not. It's completely up to you. And then you just tear it off. I just thought that was amazing. I really did. So I shall, I mean, this is nowhere near done yet, but, you know, I'll be putting on, you can't see, uh, I'll be putting on these don't know wherever <laughs> I don't know probably once I've torn them out actually and then I'll decide where I want these bits and bobs but so that's that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you anymore but I'll finish that when I um get off uh, I need to do another one of these which is the envelopes oh look at that you can see my hand through there I thought they were thicker than that uh, these are the ones that I fluffed up completely when I chopped the envelopes down. I chopped it too small, which is why I'm stitching the, that fabric on the top of the other one. I'll probably do exactly the same with this one. It's not the best angle, is it? Right, um, so this is fine. I will do exactly like I did on the other one. I will decorate it. I just want to fold it just so that I know roughly where my half is going to be. I don't know if I'll stitch these in. Excuse me. I might do, I suppose, actually. They would make a... 
I do like to have a feature in the, in the middle of the... Oh, yeah, okay. I might do that. I might make them a feature in the middle of the signatures. Because that would be quite nice there, that one. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're just a bit smaller, which is what I like. A bit smaller than the A5. Um, yeah, A5. So, right, decision made. That's where they will go. Normally I just clip them in with a paper clip, but that's exactly what I shall do. So, let's... This isn't as leery as the last one. The last one was a little bit bonkers, so I'm not going to put an awful lot on here. It's just... I never worry about covering up the frame. As you can see. Let me see if you just hold tight a second and get you down lower and see if that's a better view for you because the sun is so bright oh sorry hold tight there we are that's a little bit better isn't it there we are okay so um right stop them in <sighs> okay let's stick that there that's all good Clear off my glue book. Um, yeah, I haven't got anything else to say really. I need to cut the grass. That's my. I should be doing it because the sun is glorious today. Started off really horrible this morning, but um, it has come out better this afternoon. So, really ought to, but you know, crafting always takes precedent over anything boringly domestic for me anyway. I'll tear that little bit off there that's a little bit too much over there because you'll see it from the other side although that, does that matter because no it's a it's a um, coffee stained right through that one I, I sprayed these with uh, Tim Holtz's good old Tim Tim Holtz's sprays and I think that was what did I use I think it was the tea spray the tea tea stain ones and yeah i think that was yeah tea stain and i don't know some others and i've got the oxide ones on there i'm kind of regretting buying those i'll be honest with you i'm not sure because this has got it on there as well and it's sort of i don't know it's dull oh, yeah. my jury's out as it always is on a lot of stuff but i'm sure it'll be fine right let's um Okay, we could put Mr. Sunflower, was it Mrs. Sunflower? We could put that on there and then you could just journal over that, not that you can see there. Okay, so let's, um, where is my super duper, oh, it's buried. This is my expensive tear ruler. It's off of, what's it off of? baking parchment tin I think and it's got the serrated edge on it still can you see that it's nasty if you cut your finger with it it bloody hurts it's quite a uh, sharp one this one so let's see if we can get this in some semblance of straight order I've actually I don't know if you want to know this but anyway I've got a I've actually got a squint this is why I normally wear glasses but I can't wear glasses for up close work. <laughs> it's bonkers. Um, and it does stop me being able to see straight lines. And uh, whenever I used to decorate, oh, oh, honestly, people used to rip me because it would be like, oh, you haven't done that straight, you haven't done that straight. And I'd be like, it's perfectly straight. I don't know what's the matter with you. But of course, with my squint, which has only just been diagnosed, actually, weirdly, in my you know advanced adulthood um, and that's the whole reason why I've never been able to see straight lines is because I've had a undiagnosed squint for well forever obviously so um, and I've got pretty poor eyesight anyway but that's genetics for you so I think I might put that right on the edge there yeah, I'm going to just tear that little bit off there. So yeah, it does hamper me sometimes. I often wondered why I struggled. And I say my latest optician's op appointment, 
um, they picked up and he said have you never been told before and I'm no I never knew why I had a squint so yeah that's why I can't see straight lines but anyway I've managed for oh well, I won't say how many years but a lot uh, and I've got to get a new set of glasses because uh, he's I think the um, optician is looking at corrective lenses basically so um, to try and counter the squint but of course we can't get to opticians and we are all stuck indoors so it's fine I just make do that I like that that is pretty cute I like the sunflower I don't know what that blue splodge is. Where'd that come from? Must have been on there. Okay, I'm um, not going to go too much more with this one. I quite like that. I quite like it being... Because the other one... Excuse me for reaching in front of you. The other one had a lot on it. Well, I'll tell you what I did put aside for this, actually. Was... Which now I've got buried. Over here. I picked out some stickers, which now stuck themselves to the... Yeah, so I picked out some little stickers, and when I found this shape, I cut it in half, because it reminded me of a sunflower. And I thought that was quite nice. Looks... So when I stitch, it will go down the edge of that, so that'll be, um, that'll be okay. That'll be good. So I should do... Oh, mind you, see, I've got that... I'll get you a bit closer here. Got that sun shape there. I wonder if I could. What does that look like? Hmm. I quite like. Yeah, that's where it's going to go. It's a bit close to the edge. When I stitch it, it'll get covered, but that's fine. I'll, I'll move it away a little bit. There we are. It looks straight enough to my squinty eyes. There you go. Could be completely catawampus, that one. Oh, these stickers, I love them, but flipping it, they're a nuisance to get the backs off. There's anything else I need to tell you. No. I'm going to get the wall hangings nicely photographed and put on the old Susie Q makes Etsy shop. If you ever see anything on here, I... I, I I don't like saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you ever see anything on here that I've made, uh, I would say a vast majority of it is, is stuff that I make to sell because uh, I'm hoping to consider myself semi-retired. And, you know, as everybody knows, uh, we have living expenses. Oh, do you know, come on, off. My nails are absolutely shot with this blinking hand washing. That sores. I've got my dermatitis all coming back up. Oh God, honestly, shoot me now. Um. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh. Yeah. If you ever see anything on here, please message me. I I do put it in my. I think I called it my bits and bobs section, which I put under my videos. Um. Just message me because I don't know if you are aware, but I I, so I don't like saying this because there. Are, it's a lovely website, but Etsy do charge quite a lot. Uh, we lose a lot in commission on any sale that we make. And I, you know, a lot of Etsy sellers, and, and quite rightly so, have said, well, if I'm losing that to Etsy, because it's on postage and the actual physical thing you're selling... If I'm losing that much to Etsy, then I'm going to put it on the customer. And, you know, you can understand that. I don't want to do that. I like to keep my journals at a certain price and stuff like that. I'm probably going to pee off a lot of Etsy sellers. But, uh, it's you know, it's the way I roll. Anyway, so if you ever see anything on here that you really feel you can't live without... Um, yeah, you probably could live without a lot of it. Sorry, I'm struggling to think where to put this one. Um, just message me and um, we can, you know, sort things out, shall we say.
I think that's quite nice down there. You're not getting to see any of this, are you? Hold tight, let me move you in front. Because I'm rambling on and I'm not even thinking about you poor sausages. Let me put this box here. I'm just going to hold tight. I'm just going to move you up a bit. Let's see if I can get this light out of the camera. Sorry, bear with me. I'll let you know when I've stopped wibbling the... No, it's not going to... Sorry, hold tight. <laughs> oh, see, come to me. Get moved around. Is that a bit better? It's upside down, I'm sorry. That's a little bit better. I think you can see a bit better. Might not have wanted to. Right now I've lost my sticker. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, just let me uh, just let me know. Just message me. I in my bits and bobs section, which is in the show more bit under the under the video. Click on the show more, and it'll show you uh, how to contact me. And basically, just through Facebook pages. I've got one for Susie Q makes, and I've got one for Devon Junk Journaler. So this kind of stuff, the journals and that, will go on Devon Junk Journaler. Um, but things like the wall hangings and um, I need to put those pin cushions on pin, the pin. Um, oh God, the needle keepers are on Susie Q makes. So anything sewn, I guess you could say, will be on Susie Q makes, and uh, the junk journal stuff will be on Devon Junk Journaler. So, okay, this one is really resisting. I opened up two shops. I, I was advised to actually. Um, I was, well, I don't know, I read on somebody's blog who, well, they put themselves out as an expert on Etsy. I shouldn't have read it really, but anyway. And they suggested that because of the nature of the two things that I love to do, which is the junk journal making and, oh, where should I put that? Uh, the junk journal making and all the, stitched you know the sewn stuff that i make it was suggested that you should have two separate shops because it makes it less confusing for your customers i don't know if that was the right advice i'll be honest with you but i did it anyway i've op I opened up the two shops and it's okay i think you know now that i've sort of started doing this youtube it gets a little bit confusing about where everything is and so I think the best thing is, is that you just contact me through either of those Facebook pages or on here on um, YouTube as well, because I read all the messages uh, and just let me know, basically. And it's just my way of cheating um, Etsy out of some of their fees. They like to put on us, you know, we're the ones doing all the creative stuff. I mean, they're very good. I'm not going to moan because they, they are very good at advertising and... Uh, and doing their bit if you like um so really i we, you know, we shouldn't moan but i don't know should we you kind of get a little bit you know you're the one sat here doing all this stuff and you're buying all the materials and everything all right you know they do a bit of website advertising which yeah they do and it is you know etsy's a very well known um hand well everything well it's not not everything's handmade actually because you can sell materials there's a new one out oh, i don't know they've asked me to put some well they invited me to fill in their questionnaire thanks um and it i think they well folksy are you sorry i'm rambling on i i started off on folksy many many years ago because i really liked the thought that it was a uk only um well it's it's like a version of etsy uh, i don't i think it's becoming better now but it was i mean i didn't i don't think i sold a thing on um or well, maybe three or four things hardly anything anyway and then when i i thought i'd just give in i'm just going to join etsy and go for it um which i did and you know i've not looked back to uh, back it's it's been great and a lot of my lovely customers you know they're americans and stuff like that um and of course they use etsy a lot which is fine so but 
like I say, happy to do a little bit of private trading, I think is the um, answer there. Move that there. Can you see that? Is it going out of focus? Ah, oh, let me know. No. Right. I'm going to stop there because it's going on and um, I just am very conscious that it's now 35 minutes. Shall I quickly do, let's do the inside. I don't want to, I don't want to leave you wanting. Gosh, I ran out of me. I stained up loads of that paper. Where's it all gone? I can use that bit there. Let's put it up that way. Ooh, that bit can go there. Where's my fold? There. Um, I've forgotten, completely forgotten what I was saying now. Do we want another? No, because we've got one on the front. Ah, there you are, hiding. It's very dark, that one, but... In the last one, I just stuck the whole sheet in and then folded there. Which actually looked all right. Let's just do it, shall we? Glue uh, stick. Right. Uh, is there anything else I need to ramble on to you about? Like I say, it's... Um, and of course, you know, with this coronavirus lockdown, uh, by now I'd have probably done three or four craft fairs selling my bags and my soaps, because I also make soap as well. Um olive oil coconut oil you know the proper soap if you like um but of course there's chat there's no craft fairs so and e uh, easter is usually the first one that i do but uh, obviously there was nothing to do so i've not even i've got a few batches ready but because we don't know how long... Well, it doesn't matter, really. I mean, it can just sit. But I've kind of lost my mojo to make it. Because I usually sort of think, right, uh, you know, I've got a craft market in a, in a month's time. It needs a month to cure. E well, even more, actually. Um, so I thought, oh, you know, got a month to get this done. and But, of course, there's no stress. There's no, there's no point <laughs> making loads. So... I've I've not I know that's kind of ruined my mojo to making it so uh, now the whole idea of the pocket is that you have something pretty to look at I haven't got anything pretty what a wally okay let's find where did those peelops go come on where are you oh there they are under my glasses actually that big one would look good there where did that end up going Oh, see, it's like organised chaos. There we are. Let's put that under there. What do we think? It's a bit naff, actually, isn't it? No, I'll find something to stick there. Right, let's not stress about that. Now, the next bit is fun. I did it with this last time. Oh, gosh, that's really dark all now. Right, let's have a quick change on this one. I've got on here. Cool, that'll look alright. It's a bit dark, but so what I did with the last one is basically where's my super duper? <sighs> Junk downlines a nightmare. You end up with such a mess. I can see it straight because I've got straight lines down here, so I'm all right. A squint be damned. Where is... If I just take that to there, I can then... Ooh, saves me having to faff around, cutting around there. I can just stick another bit up. Right, so that can go there. Sorry, I've moved out of screen again. This is a rubbish angle. I will. Um, I'll get the big tripod out again for the next time. So I think that was better. It was up higher, and you, you can see more then. So, okey dokey. I'll put some wet glue down there. The yoohoo's great, but it doesn't stick on plastic, which I guess it's not designed to, and that's why it doesn't. 
I've never tried the Fabri-Tac and all those um, other ones that other people use. I nearly put that in front of the screen again. Um, I guess I ought to really to try. This is uh, Aileen, Aileen's Tacky Glue, which I've decanted into a little squeezy bottle. Because I love Aileen's, but sometimes it uh, it's so hard to squeeze the bottles. I actually ended up giving myself cramp in my hand, which wasn't good. All right, let's scoot you over. All right, it's okay. And what I'll do is I've got some sort of creamy coloured writing paper, so I'll put that down there just to take off that really dark. And then we just need a strip for there, don't we? Well, that'll do nicely, thank you. Although, no, that might be fun. That might be better, actually. I was going to say funner then. That would have been a good word, wouldn't it? So, let's put you there. A rough guesstimate. I'll trim it off with scissors in a minute. So, yeah, it's all been fun and games today. Me down at the co op causing a riot. Going around the road, shop the wrong way. I think she was just having a really bad day. I think maybe they'd had some very awkward customers. <laughs> I'm sat here and I'm like, I'm so confused. Why? Why did that lady say that? Uh, stop going on about it. <laughs> if anybody can think of a really good reason why. I say I was the only person in the blooming shop. Things like that worry me. I, oh, I do. I, I sort of think about it and think about it. And oh, what did I do wrong? Uh, but actually, I probably didn't do anything wrong. She was just having a really bad day. Oh, that pin is so fine. Right, let's pop you there. We'll just finish this one, and I'll turn you off and save you the agony watching me do bits and bobs I'll go around and ink all around there that'll be covered anyway because I'm going to put a strip of fabric on there like I did the other one um, because as I say I went a bit too close with the guillotine when I chopped the envelopes down to size so that was a bit silly wasn't it right chop this off give you a quick show and tell I want to make that do for today well for you guys anyway what I'll do is I'll carry on making this stuff and sort of bring you a a quick a quick glimpse I won't make you watch all of it because it can get a little bit laboriously boring right that one, a little bit there. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. White showing. Can't have white showing. I will go around and ink the edges and stitch and what have you. And I'll finish off my snippets as well. So there we are. Strange noise I just made. Okay, right, let me move you up higher. And then we can write, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Let me just stand you up a bit, Mel. Sorry, hold tight. Don't open your eyes if you get squiffy. Right, there we are. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Ooh. There we are. One of those envelope thingies. What do they call them? They've got a specific name. Like I say, I'll cover this with um, some lighter. Although you could write on with white pen couldn't you I suppose that'd be quite neat wouldn't it and that's the back page we tore that out so I just need to find a nice picture to put in there and then some fabric I don't think I'll use oh something in the eye I don't think I'll use the same as oh, was on the other one I might try and cheer it up a bit and 
which I might put uh, oh yeah lacy ruffle across there would look nice wouldn't it that'd be right blended I mean it won't be this bit but you know a bit oh yeah that'll look pretty okie dokie right so there's all those finishing touches that we do you know in the end don't we so that's fine it's all groovy quite like that I might stamp me big sunflower stamp on there dunk like that yeah I think I will definitely but I'll well, I don't know actually it will, might have to be in black I found my little archival ink which is a vintage photo I've also got the espresso as well which is even darker so right I'll play around with that I shall sign off now let me speak to you right so the rebel from the co-op is signing off I don't know I don't know what the problem was how dare I queue jump <sighs> naughty naughty okay I'll let you off um, I'll catch you on the next one okay and there's, there's the um thank you bye